Uh, back with another episode on the Boso scooter. Today I'm just trying to do some things so I can try to ride it, honestly. Um, first order of business was a kill switch. And I'll show you how to do that really, it's really simple. Cause the, the kill switch just grounds out the CDI. I can use my hands. So usually the black with white is gonna be the one that needs to be grounded out. In this case, I found it on the Elite harness, since remember this is a 250 swapped arrow. So what I do is I'm going to get a um, bullet connector that plugs into here, run a wire up the frame. As you can see, actually I started to that already. And then I'm just gonna temporarily, just cause I don't have any solder, <laughs> use one of these guys to splice it into the black with white wire. And then once uh, I already tested it and it works, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'll uh, be back. See the rest. Of, I think I'm gonna try to bend this this aerial bar a little bit. I don't like how because when the suspension's compressed, which I my mistake, um, it like comes really close to the what do you want to call it the front basket. So I'm gonna give it more of a bend, kind of here to go out and then up, and uh, but I'll show you that here in a second. So. All right. Got the kill switch wired up. That was simple, just one butt connector and a splice. No big deal there. And I also took the time and, well, it didn't take time. I just put it in the vise and bent it. But um, so I bent this a little more drastic. Kind of hard to tell because the front end is a little high. I'll show you guys when I get some more stuff done. Because I'd like to uh, try to do the um, exhaust today. I'll give it a little start up. Sounds like crap because how cool that is there's no exhaust on it but so that works well that's a big thing for me i you have to have some way to turn it off it's stupid not to stupid not to take two seconds to wire something in that could potentially save you from crashing because when a throttle sticks on a motorcycle it sucks it's scary there's really no way to kill it except for jump off and roll. <laughs> so I'll come back. I'm trying to work on the exhaust today. I bought some of uh, sorry, these two and a quarter radius, one and a quarter diameter um, exhaust bins. So I'm hoping I'll show you here that in a second, but hoping that I can you know cut these in half and maybe I got some really cool plan for a tip. Kind of like the old, you know, obviously in this style of the Bo Suzuki stuff, it's going to be obnoxious. So I'll get back to you and show you that here in a little bit. So you guys have an idea what I'm doing. Um, so I just lopped off the exhaust that was on here. Just cut that straight. I'm going to try to take this. I'm not sure. Maybe come like, obviously I'm going to cut this half right, at, right in the middle of that bend. And then now picture where that bend is. We're going to take this, hook it there, and gonna make like a little s i'm hoping um never really built an exhaust like this tight before but so i guess we'll see how it goes i would have filmed this as i went if i can explain it this thing looks it's gonna be sick all right here you go so that's what we got looks a bit crazy and i started out by you know, just cutting that piece down just the it's you know, i don't have any one left but you know half of that curve and then came down here used a full curve I did cut it and I uh, clock it clock this piece just a bit to get it outside of the um, fairing which I'll show you when that's up then we turned up and then there's gonna be something on top it's gonna take me a bit to make but just uh, just trust me when I say it's it's gonna be obnoxious and it's gonna be sick it's not gonna be like stupid I don't think I mean it's a Boso scooter so All right, I wasn't gonna do this just because it's tacked. So it's probably gonna have an exhaust leak, but I have to start it and see what this sounds like just with the way it is now. So you and I will witness it together. Here we go. All 
Oh no. Well, as you saw in the last clip, the battery died. So, um, this actually has a small lithium battery in it. So I'm gonna have to either buy a charger to be able to charge that. Even though I shouldn't have an issue once it's you know up and running and I'm riding it, it'll charge itself. But um, what I'll probably do is just bring it to Advanced Auto Parts in the nearest town, have them charge it overnight for me. That'll be fine. We'll get that clip tomorrow. Um, kind of show you an idea of what I was thinking. Kinda. I'm not gonna show you the tip just because I'm not sure if I want to do that yet or if I'll be able to do that with the tools that I have in the carport here. So, but um, got this U bend. That's gonna be the start of it. So something, you know, come off like that. And then I was contemplating, you know, cut. See if I can explain it. Taking a section out of here, so bring these really close together, so that these will be more like that, and uh, doing like a you know typical or cool Boso style. Um, what do they call them? The uh, lightning bolts, or a star, or I had a couple other ideas too. Or you know the heart. The heart would be kind of cool, but I don't know if I have a bender that I can do that with. I don't have a bender at all. Anywho. Hopefully tomorrow, or even later tonight when I go into town to get some food, uh, maybe I can get the battery and get it started and we'll get a video because I think it's gonna sound cool. Because earlier when I started, it was just, well, it was this piece right here. You know, what is it, six inches, seven inches of this pipe, nothing. Or now it's got a bunch of curves to it. So I think, you know, the curves will help out a lot with noise. I just wanna hear what it sounds like. So we'll take, we'll, we'll find that out later. So we got a lot done today big things throttle cable kill switch man the, the aerial the fender pole looks sick now exhaust all tacked up minus the tip that's a big deal look at it just Standing behind this thing, looking at it, thinking, man, it kind of looks weird with this big gap. Like right, let's see, right there, there's like a wheel and then nothing and then the exhaust. Then I remembered I have something that's going to go on this. I'm going to spoil it now. Air horns. So I think my Mac, see, they're all different lengths, so I'm going to stagger them so that. There'll be like one, one, two, and three right here. And the pump will be hidden and the button, but that's gonna be sick. All right, so uh, on the next video, probably going to install those air horns. Uh, I don't have much other planned because I'm still waiting for the that other exhaust tubing. I figured out what I'm gonna do with that. So that's gonna be sweet. And uh, yeah, so see you next time.